Hello and welcome to another episode of Mortgage Video Mastermind, where we bring you professionals who share insight into the latest trends, tips, industry, technology, and services to help you create more videos to use in your mortgage business. Okay, so we we are live official here, and uh, it truly is a Friday indeed. So uh, welcome. So those of you who are joining us, welcome if you're listening to a recording of this. My name is Ginger Bell and with me I have the one and only Scott Chang and the one and only Frazier, Jason Frazier, but I see, I love how you have Frazier there. Yep. Happy Friday, guys. Yes, Happy Friday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you're joining us on Facebook, you can type your questions in there. If you are joining us through Zoom, then you can type your questions in the chat box. And um, I know Scott, you had asked we're not doing StreamYard. Um, I, we, had, we did StreamYard, the first one, and this one we're switching over to Zoom only because I had several people ask if they could get a reminder mm. and you can't do that on StreamYard. Yeah. So okay. I set it up on zoom because they wanted to be able to add it to their calendars and that way they could get a reminder and be able to attend it. Um, so the other thing too, is I want to make sure that we, um, we have this available in the Facebook group, which is, um, mortgage video mastermind. And then I'm also going to post it onto, um, my YouTube channel. So people that want to go back and see the series of it, we're going to start it. Um, and you know, we'll see what happens from there. So with that today, we are going to talk about editing video editing, and it's one of those things. We're not going to get into the details of it because it's 15 minutes here on this video, but if you would like something more, Scott and I had talked about, uh, earlier this week, maybe putting together a longer session that can go through the steps of video recording or uh, video editing. And I know, um, Scott, you have done a lot of video editing. I've been doing video editing since 2008 when I started doing continuing education classes. Um, so, you know, what do you find important as far as video editing? Where should someone focus? Um, well, I mean, the first, the first thing is to determine whether or not you need to do editing. And, and, and I think that has a lot to do with what type of content that you're creating. Um, I think some content is better without editing. Um, I, I don't think you should edit out ums and ahs. Is, is, yeah, I don't think you have to be really, really concerned about that because I think being real is, a, is, is the best possible thing you can do. Um, but when you start doing basic editing, like you're doing, um, you know, say you've got a, a PowerPoint presentation and you want to pop in and out between showing the screen, showing the PowerPoint screen, and then showing yourself without picture in picture, or um, a lot of people have heard the term B-roll mm -hmm. and B-roll is really just, um, you know, those little videos or pictures that are running while you're talking, um, you know, whether you add music or not to it. Um, is an editing uh, decision that you'll make. And probably the simplest one that most people will do is your pre-roll and post. So that's kind of like your introduction. Maybe it's your logo or something like that. Um, I used, um, I've used iMovie before, but I, I, I mostly use Camtasia. Yeah, that's what I use is Camtasia. Yeah. And, and um, you know, for, for, for me, for editing, I'm it's funny. I'm very geeky. I'm very tech savvy, but I don't understand it. Like if, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why it works. I just figure out how to make it work. Right. And in video editing anymore is an act of, it's a visual act. Mm. It, it, it really is. You're lining up things and your, you know, your, your video is a track. Your music is a track your audio overlays a track. Yeah. Your, yeah. Your B roll your B is a track. track. <laughs> and, and yeah. And it's, it's not nearly as complex as it sounds, but there's absolutely a learning curve to kind of get used to how you go in there and you kind of mess around with stuff. Um, I, I still think Camtasia is probably one of the best ones. These things, 
these things all kind of come with transitions so that you know if you're going from one one scene or one vision to so a transition would be like i'm sitting there talking and i i want to a PowerPoint slide to come on and it looks like a box, like a square box, you know, like turns and then, or it fades in and out. Um, these things are not that difficult. It, no, I have trained. I mean, honestly, I have trained um, so many of my clients who are not video savvy at all. And some not even, you know, technologically savvy on how to use Camtasia especially for quick videos. Like if you're getting into a video that you're going to be putting on YouTube, uh, you're going to be sending it out. Um, that's going to be a training. And I know like Frazier, you know, you, you like, I do a lot of like training videos, which are a little bit different than what you're you know, talking about for your YouTube videos. Um, but if you're just recording a session like this, you don't need any edits on it. You just need to be able to throw it in, maybe add some intro music, you know, do a, a, a nice graphic as far as an intro, if you're gonna do something like that and you're good to go. So it's easy to use Camtasia for something like that. And if that's what you're doing, where you're doing your live like this, if you're doing your Facebook live, um, all of my webinars, I edit all of my webinars um, because I always start them recording at the very beginning. I don't wait until we go live to record. Um, and I do that because I'm often on with other people and I want them to get on in our practice session and get them comfortable. And I have other things that are going on. You can throw that into Camtasia and edit that out. That's a super yeah. thing to do. So having an idea, depending on what you want to do with the editing, you don't have to worry about so much of what Scott's talking about, your B-roll or your transitions or your call outs or things like that. If you just want to do the editing for very simple things like your Facebook Live, for example, if you're doing webinars and you want to be able to take that webinar and put it onto, you know, your uh, YouTube channel or onto your website, um, then those are things that you can get to know, or you can have someone in your office get to know. So if you have someone in your office that can do that, that's a good thing. Yeah, we kind of talked about that is editing is decent to understand, but it's not something that you should be doing. Not, you should, you yeah. should be working on thousand dollar an hour plus work right. in your business. And you need to set, you need to, you know, delegate anything else. Um, yeah, it, it, the, the, my biggest, the, probably the best advice I would give is don't make the mistake that I made and don't go crazy and just like try to edit stuff. I I was talking to you yesterday. I did, um, <laughs> gosh, it was probably 2012. Um, I was doing a podcast with four other people and I had five JVC webcams <laughs> or camcorders set up and we were jump cutting to whoever was talking and it was just, it was overkill and, it, and, and the production quality wasn't great. But I was just geeking out, and, and <laughs> you're talking JVC. I mean, like, no, yeah, no, and it's totally not. It's totally not necessary. I mean, the 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 most common edits you're probably going to do is this, you know, turning your camera off at the end or something right. like that, or like yeah. you said, the very beginning. Yeah. And and I always it you know like if I'm trying to do you know just videos where I don't I'm not talking to anybody, there's always the the false starts, and you're like. <sighs> and then you start again, you know, you have, to, <laughs> so, right. so I guess if we're talking about editing and anybody's doing any sort of editing, uh, the best advice I would probably give is if you make a mistake and you know, you want to edit it out, just be silent because what that does is visually that flatlines your audio track. And then you can see in your video file yes. where the mistake is or where the, the pause is. So that's what they do when you see the movies and they have those clappers, they're creating yeah. a spike, an audio spike to show, hey, this is an important part in the cut. Um, but I usually just be silent, just be silent, take a breath, you'll see the flat line in the audio and then you know either side of that, you just need to wipe it out. That is an absolute pro tip. And Scott, where were you when I first started doing videos? Cause that, I would do that all the time and I'd be like, okay, that sucked. And then just started, kept going again. And there wasn't enough. And then I went to go back to edit. I'm like, oh, 
shit, where was that? Like where, you know? <laughs> and so I started doing that. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta be able to look at the the timeline and, and do that. But it's, it's, yeah, you don't want to overkill it. And to your point, Scott, as, as even editing can be hard and then you're going to want to become like a perfectionist and you're going to want to throw all these little things in there. And it just, it's too much time. There's a lot of inexpensive editing videos for you guys just do simple stuff. But then go to like Fiverr or somewhere else to like do the logo like transitions and all the cool like effects and stuff like that. And then just and then you could even do um, a Fiverr. You just give them the video and then give them like your 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 intro and outro or whatever. And then they can just splice it all together. That way you're not having to focus on actually doing all that stuff yourself. I actually like doing it, but it's time. It's a time suck. It's sure. it. It is totally time consuming. And you don't realize how much time it can take. <laughs> like we, we had a video we were working on for a client the other day and I have a full-time videographer that does my video editing and um, the video turned out great. We actually did it for a broker up in Seattle and he, you know, went to a restaurant and he was, you know, talking with an insurance agent. Um, it's a six minute video and she spent three hours. <laughs> yeah so it's it like crazy. okay well let's have a conversation i mean it was a great video it looks great on youtube he's very happy with it um but you also have to look at it can be a time suck i'm gonna hop in one quick pro tip when you were talking about the pause which is so important as far as giving that pause if you make a mistake or if you want to redo something when you do that pause stop frame yourself up again and look at the camera and then start talking because so many times, and that's where you can put your B-roll in is when you have those pauses and you have to edit out. And that's a nice, we will put a B-roll over on the top of that. So you don't see that break, but people will always forget or they'll have that frustrated look. Oh, and it's like, okay. And I'll start talking and you get this weird like angle in the camera. So <laughs> slow yourself down, say, okay, I'm going to start over pause. So you see that break, look at the camera and then start again. It, this is another pro tip, but this one, again, I learned the hard way and Frazier, the, the, I, I, I learned that the hard way too. You know, it's like <laughs> going back and trying to edit when you can't find where you screwed yeah. up, you know yeah. you did. The, the other one that I always do is, is when I get my raw footage, uh, the first thing you always do is separate and, and you can right click and separate audio from video in most of these programs. And your audio is almost going to always be off from your video. It's just, it's just one of those things, depending on how your mic is. Um, and then you line them up, you, you line, you visually, you're lining them up, you're moving it forward or backwards. And I'm just sitting here staring at the lips and listening to it, trying to get it to line up, but do that first before you start editing and yes. the rest of your yes. line. Yes. So yes. if you splice and put in B-rolls, right, you know exactly yeah. what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut here, do this B-line. And then all of your audio and video is out of sync. Yeah. And you're so like, no. Do it once the very first time, line up your audio and video, and then do all the rest of your editing and don't touch that part again. Um, that's another huge thing that it, that it's a nightmare if you do it the wrong way. But like you said, Fiverr, um, it, you can legitimately get for like 10 bucks or less, you can get yep. cool animated logo intros if you need them. Um, and then maybe an outro that has your contact information. And like anybody under 30 can edit an entire movie on an <laughs> iPhone with their thumb <laughs> with, yep. with like iMovie. So it's, it's not hard. It's not an expensive skill set. Uh, you outsource it. It, it, it. I think it's a good idea to learn how to do it yourself just so that somebody make doesn't make it seem like it's more important and more expensive than it should be probably. Yeah. But now editing is definitely not something you should be afraid of. It, it's so simple these days. Um, it's very intuitive. It's very visual. Um, it's very drag and drop-ish kind of thing. They yeah. keep getting better. Camtasia's update right now is amazing. They have an incredible call outs that you can put in there. Yeah. They actually have added where you can get stock video to put in there for your B roll. Yeah. yeah. And, and then really it's nice because, you know, what we used to have to use, you know, all these different Envato and iStock. And and music and things yeah. Like that. yeah. Um, it's all right in there. So honestly, I think your best bang for the buck right now for editing is your suggestion Camtasia, Scott. 
Yeah, it's it's a little more expensive for Windows, which is weird. It's like three hundred bucks for Windows for a oh, year. Oh, really? It's only ninety nine bucks a year for for Mac, which which seems like usually it's inverse. You know, it's usually Windows stuff is less expensive. But yeah, it's ninety nine bucks a year. I've used it for probably. Oh man, it's got to been close to ten years, and it's come. Yeah, so, me too. Come yeah. so far. I it's think so I started simple. in like two thousand eight with it when when it just yeah. and it sucked back then <laughs> but it oh, was yeah. easier no, it was than iMovie and here's the other thing I like about it there's not a huge learning curve so it is simple to use you know you have to you know take some time and play around with it but once you get into it it's really not that difficult so I just put it into the chat or into the um, comments TechSmith Camtasia and uh, they also have TechSmith also has Snagit which is uh, yeah, a great software just- Actually, Jason, I know your team just started using Snagit and they're like, God, we love this. this is yeah, because they were using the Windows built in. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, 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 Snagit, get Snagit. And it's TechSmith, so they have like that plus like 27,000 other pieces of software that you can <laughs> check exactly. out too. <laughs> uh, yeah, TechSmith is good products. I use a lot. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, well, I mean, that's really the basics as far as suggestions using Camtasia, one of your best um, using the pauses. So make sure if you're going to start over and, and don't feel like you need to do your whole video in one take, you can edit those pauses. And so if you, you know, do your start and you're into it for, you know, first three points, and then you mess up on the fourth point or whatever, then take a break, take a pause as um, Jason and Scott are saying, and then start over again. Those are the things you can edit out, but don't over edit. And if you are going to, you know, get into consistently editing, outsource that. Definitely outsource it. Don't get into doing it. Okay, so what we wanna know is, what do you wanna talk about next week? Um, We have a special guest that'll be coming on the 23rd. So not next Friday, but the following Friday, who is a superstar for YouTube. And I'm not gonna say who it is yet, Scott. We'll kind of tease people up a little bit. So, Um, but I'm excited about having- Fraser's already here, so I don't know. Fraser's a superstar. Are you a YouTube superstar? No, no, I, uh, I don't do too much on YouTube and I, and I want to, I just, it, it's one of those things that I, I coach my people. I said, look, if you're not going to put the time in it, if you're not going to really commit to doing it, then don't do it. I, I did a lot of stuff in the beginning just to put content out there, but I don't spend a lot of, on YouTube. Um, I do other, like, for example, uh, like next level loan officers, I produce all the videos on their YouTube. Um, for the podcast that you, you could check out. And actually that, that might be a good thing that I'll just post in the, in the mastermind yeah. is I will just show you how, how I've set up. I use ScreenFlow, uh, which is a really lightweight, simple editor. Um, and uh, I could just show you like, look, I have a template. I just grab the video file, throw it in there and it's done. And it's just, but it's just that, that upfront work of creating that template, but just to show people just how easy it oh, can that's a be. good idea. You know what? I, I could even do that too on my video planner. I do a weekly thing on that. Yeah. And I just have a template. So I just record the video, throw the video in there, you know, change what I need to as far as the call outs and good to go. So templates are a good key. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Okay, yeah, good. Much more on that topic. We we can um we can unpack that, but that's better that's better to do live, right? I mean yeah. that's better to do like laptops open, okay, here's yeah. <laughs> lower thirds, transitions, all that kind yeah. of thing. That that's a weekend together geeking out. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, it is. Let's get that on the calendar. Yeah, let's do it. Exactly. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, guys, for hopping on. Thank you for those um, who hopped on as well. I'm not seeing any questions. Um, but we do appreciate you being on. And if you're catching recording on this, then, um, give us a thumbs up and like us and feel free to share us. So you guys have a great weekend. Take care.